Howdy YouTubers, it's Scott from Wad Review, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the CrossFit shoe that I am most excited about using, continuing to use in 2023. This shoe is gonna explode this year, so stick around. So the shoe that I am most excited about this year is... The Rad? No, great running shoe though. This lightweight beauty from an old school brand? I am excited about it, but this isn't it. No, the shoe that I am most excited about this year is the Tier CXT1 that you probably saw at this year's CrossFit Games. And this shoe, I got it on pre-order. So as soon as it was available in the fall, I've been working out with this shoe for the last few months. And when I first got it, I was like, okay, you know, it's it's mid-weight kind of length or mid-weight uh, in weight. Uh, I liked kind of the simplicity of the design, but it wasn't anything too crazy. But let me tell you, after a few months of using this shoe, this thing has become one of my top three shoes and the shoe that I'm most excited about uh, this year going into 2023. So my favorite thing about this shoe is just, it feels like for the money, you're getting the highest quality materials that I've seen in any CrossFit shoe in the last nine months. And I've bought 14 pairs of shoes and tried them all in the last the last year or so. So the thing I really, really like about the tier is that I, I find myself picking this shoe for pretty much every workout, except for maybe if there's a bunch of toes to bar. Um, or some major gymnastic movements, I might go with a little bit of a lighter shoe, but it's it's pretty lightweight for the stability in it is just amazing. I love doing double unders in this. I've just been crushing my double unders in this. Any any of the Olympic lifts, I feel really solid and stable in this shoe. You know, it's got this patent pending uh, stability platform. It's got this wrap around side grip and really nice anatomical toe box. Uh, it's got this Surge NRG foam midsole and it's got a nine millimeter uh, heel to toe drop. So there's also like an extended toe uh, guard here. And then there's a heel clip here that's extremely stable. The arch support is great. You know, the midsole offers an ideal blend of responsiveness and the stability. I just, I can't tell you how solid I feel in, in every movement in this shoe. They're really comfortable. Uh, the laces are maybe my only downside that I, I have uh, sometimes found that they come undone a little easily. So, you know, just double knotting them and making sure that, that those don't come undone. Um, they've got new colorways out that you can get on Rogue, so you can get more than just the black now. So this is the shoe that I'm most excited about going into 2023. It's really, um, it's also uh, just has stayed really clean. I mean, I, you know, it is, I do have a black version here, but it's, it seems to repel dirt and, and just grime from the gym really well so far. I've been wearing this quite a bit and they still look almost brand new. So really excited about the shoe for 2023. This shoe is absolutely going to blow up with all the sponsorships that they did at last year's CrossFit games. You know, six of the top 10 men's finishers were wearing this shoe. It's, it's a really, really solid shoe. I'm excited about using it more this year. Um, it's not as light as this guy, but I'll talk about this shoe in, a, in another video and get into my top three shoes that I'm going to be wearing this year in 2023. So, but the shoe I'm still most excited about, the Tears uh, CXT1. Uh, this thing is a lot of fun to work out in. So uh, yeah, uh, grab yourself a pair. If you can get them from Rogue, you can get them directly from the website and I'll put a link to those uh, below the video. So have a good workout, workouts, have a good workouts in 2023. And uh, yeah, stay fit or, you know, keep moving or I need a tagline. Uh, just keep moving? I think just keep moving is good. Scott from Mod Review and uh, just keep moving.